Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Prophetic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress hook tutorial for beginners and this is num part number 21. In this video session guys, we will discuss about the filter hook called plugin action links. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about WordPress hook tutorial. So in our previous video session guys, we had discussed about that how can we develop custom columns to custom post type as well as we have rendered the custom data to those columns okay so basically what we are going to do inside this video session so basically if I go to administrator panel so right now if you go to the plugin section just scroll down as we can see that this is the plugin actually currently we are working on okay so we want that along with this plugin right now we have only one link actually we can see like deactivate okay so we want that more than one link we want to add inside this link section so how can we add more links as I think that you have seen in many plugins that while activating the plugin contains several links like deactivate like settings and about us and several links okay so how can we add more links to this plugin action okay so for that we are going to use something called plugin action links so just back to editor so this is the plugin guys so far we are learning about the WordPress hooks tutorial so before this video session guys we had discussed about several action hooks as well as filter hooks okay so let's say that add filter inside add filter for the first parameter that we are going to pass something called plugin action links so just copy that and paste it here and also in the second parameter we need to pass a callback function so let's say that OWT add let's say other other let's say plugin links okay so just copy this function name and now we have to define right here to this callback function just scroll down now inside this function block guys we are going to make our own custom links to add along with this deactivate link okay so before that guys actually the add filter this filter hook is incomplete right now okay so what actually we are going to add with this filter hook so basically we need to add the plugin base name here okay so just I'm going to top let's define a parameter as a constant so let's define let's say that OWT let's say OWT hook let's say plugin base name okay this is a constant that we are going to define and now this constant contains a value called plugin base name inside this function I am going to pass called file parameter okay so just I'm going to use this constant so just copy that scroll down and now we need to append that constant right here with this filter hook okay so just paste it here so basically guys what actually this syntax says basically this is the filter hook that we need to attach with this OW2 hook plugin base name this is a constant that we have made right here by using called plugin base name function okay so just scroll down so inside this callback function guys we are going to add our custom columns so just go to function block so basically guys inside this function block first of all we are going to pass a parameter called links okay this links basically an array it contains all the links that we are going to make along with this deactivate button okay so just re finally return links this links inside this links guys we are going to store some values okay so first of all let's say that we are going to add some of the links let's say that we are going to a link here and something called OWT list table this is another plugin okay so we want that a link that we are going to make after clicking on that link actually we will redirect on this plugin okay so if I just open a new tab so basically this is the URL of that plugin so just I'm going to copy go here and let's say that this is the plugin for list table okay so let's say list table plugin URL okay so let's say admin URL inside this function we are going to pass these parameters means admin.php and page as a query string and it has a value okay so basically just copy that let's say that first link okay so basically inside this variable we have we need to store inside anchor tag so let's anchor href and inside this href this is the link actually by clicking on this anchor tag we will redirect it inside this link okay so just concatenate this value and this is the link let's say that 
list table plugin okay so this is the first link guys that we actually make so just copy this variable we have to make array push and basically by using this PHP function we are going to push this link inside this variable because this is an array okay so let's see that links and now this is the first link that we are going to push inside this links array okay so if I save this file go to browser just go into plugin section reload this page and now as we can see that OWTWP hooks contains two sublinks like deactivate and this is called listable plugin so if I inspect that just inspect this link and now as we can see that inside this link this is the anchor tag and this is the href that actually we have set right here by the help of this plugin okay so basically when we click on this link we actually redirect it to this OWT list table okay so this is guys that how can we develop the extra links to our plugin section okay so if we want to make a setting page for our OWT hooks this is the plugin so far we have developed we want to develop a settings page and now after that we are going to link that settings page inside this submenu links okay so how can we develop that so first of all we need to make a submenu of settings page just back to editor and now inside this function guys inside this plugin we are going to make a submenu basically that submenu registered inside this let's say settings page okay we want to add a sub menu inside this settings panel okay and now we are going to give that link actually right here okay so just go inside plugin let's say that add sub menu basically let's make a function function let's say that OWT register let's say settings panel okay this is the settings panel now inside this settings panel and finally let's say add action inside this add action we want that at init action hook this function actually going to fire okay so now inside this function let's say add some menu page we have to first pass the parameter about the parent slug so basically we are going to register this sub menu inside this settings page okay so for that we are going to pass let's say, options general dot php this is the page slug for that okay in the second parameter we have to pass for the page title okay so let's say that hook settings okay next something called is a menu title so let's say hook settings again next we have to pass the capability manager okay so let's say manage options manage options so if I just separate all these parameters so first let's say second third and the fourth parameter okay next we have to pass the submenu slug okay so let's say that let's say that this is hook settings panel finally we have to pass this callback function okay so basically this is the dummy callback function that we are going to make something called OWT hook settings panel function okay so just copy this function name let's say function inside this function let's say that echo just scroll down let's say echo inside this h1 tag let's say that this is settings page of OWT hook plugin okay so just save this file go to browser reload this page now we have an error to solve this issue guys just back to editor and as I think that we have a mistake and mistake is something like that we are going to register this sub menu okay and basically we have a used called init action hook basically we have to let's say admin menu okay so just save this file go to browser reload this page and now our plugin works okay so if you go to the settings page as we can see that here we have registered our hook settings sub menu okay so this is how we have registered the sub menu inside settings panel and also guys if suppose we have the same error in it if I have 500 internal error if you want to see the error message so how can we actually obtain or appear that message right here on the screen so for that let's say that we have to use some of the PHP functions so just go at the top and let's say that error reporting inside this error reporting we have to set called e all 
and basically let's say ini set and inside this function we have to pass a parameter called display errors okay and finally we have to pass as a one debug mode okay so if I save this file go to browser reload this page and now as we can see that here we have a message call call to undefined function called add some menu page okay this is a undefined function so basically to solve this issue we actually made the simple things and the simple thing something like that we need to change the action hook called admin menu okay so if I save that reload this page and now the error has gone okay so successfully guys we have registered the settings inside the settings panel so we want to make as a sub menu link inside this WP hooks sub menu links to this page that we have made okay so if I click that this is the settings page th that we have developed okay so just copy this link go to administrator panel or sorry editor and now the link that we have made just go to function and if I make comment just make comment let's say that settings link okay and let's say admin URL and this is the URL that we have to pass and settings panel so just let's say that settings anchor inside the single quotes let's a and this is settings okay inside this href tag we have to pass the link here okay so just paste it here and finally just copy the settings anchor and pass inside this array post to in, to store that value inside this links array okay so if I save that just go to browser plugin section scroll down and now as we can see that OWP WT WP hooks and right here we have a button called settings okay so if I click on that and this is the settings panel guys so far we have developed for that plugin okay so the basic concern is that guys how can we develop the sub menu links or the sub links for the plugin inside the installed plugin list okay so this is possible by using called plugin action links and also by using concatenating with the plugin base name okay you have to remember that while using this filter hook you need to concatenate that value with plugin base name so this is the constant that we have developed by using a WordPress function called plugin base name and here we have to pass the magic parameter called file okay so guys I think that by the help of this video session I have made much more clear concept about adding menu action links okay so if you have any doubt in this video session guys then please drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day